Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Next week, when Maura Dingle's unpredictable downward slide continues, death might be imminent in Emmerdale. After recent episodes of the ITV soap opera featured the feisty farmer played by Natalie J. Robb displaying alarming behavior, including lashing out against her husband Kane, played by Jeff Hordley, social media was ablaze with speculation. While many Emmerdale fans at home surmised that her love of alcohol might have taken over her life, others worried that she might be in for a scathing health storyline of her own seeing her being diagnosed with dementia or a brain tumor. However, in scenes that will air the following week, Morris' illness turns fatal and five beloved characters, including Kane and Lucy Pargeter's Chas Dingle, could die in a barn explosion. On the Yorkshire-based soap opera, Callum Milligan, Will Ash, unintentionally starts a rumor mill by mistaking a glimpse of a tender moment with Nate Robinson, Jural Carter, who was expected to be leaving the show, which causes Mora to lose her grip on reality and become agitated. Soon after, Caleb informs the startled Kane of the information. Shocked, Kane chooses to address Mora about the rumors. The Scott downplays it, but Kane's skepticism just makes her angry, and she walks out. However, this does nothing but feed the flames. When his father Kane looks at Nate, he looks like a deer caught in headlights. When he eventually gets home, Mora is shocked to see that he has brutally battered Nate. When Kane loses it and rages, not realizing Mora is experiencing a flashback, things get even worse. But everything comes to a head when she smacks Kane, causing him to flee, out of shock and worry. In other sequences, Mora is joined in the barn by a cunning Ruby Fox Milligan. Beth accordingly, who is gloating but starts to feel bad for the farmer because he doesn't respond to her jokes. Rather, Mora pours tractor gasoline in the barn while Ruby's voice becomes indistinguishable from that of Emma Barton, her former adversary whom she killed in 2017, allowing her son Adam to take the blame. Feeling completely overwhelmed and changed, Mora points a shotgun at a startled Ruby, padlocks the barn, and fires a warning shot into the air. However, things soon turn into a struggle for the weapon, and Mora hits Rudy in the head to knock her unconscious. As Mora regains consciousness, she is shaken and dazed. However, when the tractor fuel spark ignites, Mora freezes and becomes defenseless next to Ruby's body. The following week, when Mackenzie Boyd, Lawrence Robb, Mora's brother, notices smoke rising from the barn from a distance, word of the fire quickly reaches the entire hamlet. However, after making numerous fruitless attempts to go to Mora, he is forced to take a quad bike and make the journey alone. When Mac arrives at the barn, he runs across Oliver Farnworth's character John Sugden. The two decide to enter the barn together, but not before Mackenzie warns Kane, Caleb, and Chas about the fire. Despite Kane's resentment of his wife, the three rush to the barn. While his sister Chas attempts to talk him out of face the fire, the Emberdale strong guy rushes to the flaming barn. However, a massive explosion that occurs while they are confined in the barn sends them all to the earth and towards death. Who is going to survive? After Tom King made an attempt to flirt with Gabby Thomas, played by Rosie Bitham, in the wool pack, viewers of Emmerdale are worried about her. This week, Tom has been abusing his wife, Belle Dingle, Eden Taylor Draper, more severely, which has led to the horrifying death of their dog, Piper. Tom, the veterinarian, ran over Piper and said he had done everything he could to save her, which devastated Belle. After Piper's death, Tom exploited Belle's loss of emotional control after she declared she wanted to break up with him because of his aggressive behavior. But according to the Express, Belle appears to have seen through Tom's charade and charged him with inflicting her wounds. 
Bell expressed her suspicions that Tom was the cause of Piper's death during Tuesday's August 20 episode and talked about his mistreatment while they buried the puppy. As they made plans to get a drink at the pub, Gabby and her romantic interests Vinnie Dingle, Bradley Johnson, Gabby celebrated kept with a bottle closer. of champagne after she convinced Charlotte Bellamy's character, Laurel Thomas, to invest. However, Tom was also at the bar and made an attempt to flirt with her when she ordered her drink. Tom bombarded Gabby with remarks and implied that he would like to go into a romantic relationship with her. But Gabby rejected him and gave Vinnie a passionate kiss letting him know that she was not amused by Tom's efforts. Fans of Emmerdale are worried that Gabby may be the next person Tom targets for violence. On social media, a fan wrote, so Tom wants Gabby to be his next victim. That just struck me as strange and inappropriate. Another horrified spectator said, Tom hitting on Gabby, what a disgusting human. Gabby's retort was commended by a fan who said, in your face, Tom. Brilliant from Gabby there. Another person speculated on potential storylines, saying, I feel like Tom will start dating someone else in the village and exert the same kind of control over them. It could be soon that an Emmerdale icon waves farewell to the village. Because of the turbulent existence that Kane Dingle leads, Jeff Hordley, who has been portraying the character since 2000, has solidified his place in the hearts of viewers. Kane's time in the Dales hasn't been tranquil. He's been at the center of some of the most explosive soap opera plots, ranging from stressful family dramas to terrifying murders. As Kane and his partner Mora, Natali J. Robb, argue about the situation involving his nephew Samson Dingle, Sam Hall, and her son Maddie Barton, Ash Palmichino, Things are getting hot and heavy right now. Samson was sent to prison after mistakenly blaming Maddie for a stabbing, spurred on by bad boy Josh, Ocean Morgan. Morad Haynes' tension is still quite high, even after Samson admitted to lying and went to jail. Furthermore, according to The Express, Kane's stepsister Belle, Eden Taylor Draper, has also had her fair share of difficulties as a result of being mistreated by her husband, Tom King, James Chase. However, the Manchester Evening News reports that she recently broke up with him and traveled to Scotland for a while with her father, Zach Dingle, who was portrayed by the late Steve Hallowell. Now, ardent after a run of difficult breaks, Emmerdale viewers are worried that Kane would be the next to leave. What if Kane goes off to Zach and Debbie's and nurses Zach as he dies and then continues to run the business up there? Is a hypothetical question that fans of Emmerdale are speculating about in a Facebook fan group. The comments section saw a flurry of responses as the rumor mill went into overdrive. One reader speculated, yeah, that would be one way of writing him for a little while. Don't want him to go to prison again, as they have done this already. To this, someone else remarked, I think he's leaving for a bit, but he usually comes back after arrest. And the second, more dement devotee said, I hope not. No, without Kane, Emmerdale would be meaningless. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.